Welcome to Timmy time, but technically today it's not really Timmy time. Because oh, thank Timmy's... the Lord. <laughs> Timmy's dead. Now I feel awkward. A moment of silence, please. Was that long enough? Yes. Yeah, long enough. Okay. Today we have the fabulous Mr. Cruz with us today. He's very fabulous. Isaac? Okay, I've never actually had your class. So I don't really know much about you. Who are you? Me? Yeah. I'm a legend. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I haven't had your your class who are, who, are, who are you? I'm an actor as Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Oh, yeah, this is me. This is Timmy. This is Timmy standing. And Derry. Oh, the camera does weird things. Yeah. It has different on the channels. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, you had a question before I rudely interrupted you. Yes, anyways, what would you say is the origin of Poosmus? Oh, the origin of Poosmus. Well, it turns out the origin of Poosmus was the Daily Bulletin. Uh, many, 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 many years ago, um, I used to print out the bulletins and put them on the wall because we were supposed to. And my TA read it and said, there's a door decoration contest. Mm. And I was like, okay. And I put it on the wall because I wasn't going to be decorating my door. But my TA read it, and she's like, oh, there's a contest for decorating the door. Would, would, can, can I decorate your door for you? Sure, whatever. So she put a Christmas tree and put little ornaments on it, and it said Mary, and then she wrote Poosmas underneath it. I was like, oh, okay, no big deal. Not sacrilegious at all. No, no. Yeah. But, um... There was a teacher here, working here, um, let's say he taught English, and uh, the, none of you know him, except for possibly juniors and seniors, uh, and uh, he thought that it was sacrilegious, and I was putting poos above Christ our Lord. <laughs> oh. But, unfortunately, I found out that it upset him. So, the next year, I, I had the same TA, and I says, please decorate my door for Poosmas. There was no contest. I just wanted to piss him off. <laughs> okay. And uh, that happened, and people would go around saying Merry Poosmas, and that upset him. And we just, Poosmas sort of became a thing. Uh, the, it is the 34th, 31st most religious day in December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, Poosmas became a thing just to trigger someone. Yes. It all started okay. as a practical joke. Oh, well, it all, it all started just to win a gift certificate to Mailings, which I won. Not because of the door decoration, it was actually randomly drawn, but, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think it was because of the spirit of Puzmas, Yeah. which is uh, bitterness, paranoia, and uh, something else. Meat. You just forgot it, or it just remains unnamed? I can't remember what the third one is. All right. Sarcasm. Ah. Bitterness, paranoia, and sarcasm. I, I forgot. Great virtues to live up to. You know, Poos, you are famous for your stories. I, I have, so, I'm known to have a few. Yeah, during math class, in the middle of a lecture, someone will ask you a question about one of your random animals around the room or something like that, and you just, you go off and you tell, you tell this amazing, beautiful story. Why don't you give us one of those? Okay. Um, Mrs. Brogan made a request for the donut story. I think I remember that. And so maybe I'll go with the donut story if that's Sounds okay. Sounds like a good idea. Yes, I have no idea what this is, but it involves donuts, so I am all in. It's well, got to be good. There's um, meat in it. I was, I was back from college. Uh, I was hanging out at a friend's house. Um, I was driving home, and I had borrowed my dad's truck. And um, did I mention that I was the son of a policeman? No, you have not, but now you have. Uh, okay, uh, so it's very important for this story. You can get away with anything, then. Oh, whoa, whoa, why, why are you, you are to, above why, the why, law. Why, why, are, why are you trying to give away the ending of the story already? That's, that's just rude. <laughs> I have not heard the story before. Oh, this is awkward. I just took right. a guess there, because right. policeman's son, you know. Like. So on Vashon Island, um, there's this one main road that goes from the north end to the south end. And uh, on the north end, there's a ferry dock. And on the south end, there's a ferry dock. Well. I was pulling up to a stop sign, and I saw ferry traffic coming. So ferry traffic uh, is cars tightly packed on a two-lane road 
uh, basically bump to bump, bumper to bumper for like uh, one or two miles straight. I saw that and I went, I need to get in front of that line because otherwise I'll just be sitting here waiting. So I gently tapped the accelerator and got up ever to 90 so, miles per hour. Ever so <laughs> gently, ever so gently, gently, gently. And was able to merge into traffic Just give and then slow feather. back down to the 35 mile per hour speed limit. <laughs> oh, so to be clear, you were traveling at 35 miles per hour and you decided, I want to get ahead I of believe this. the speedometer was broken. Gently feather the accelerator. Gently, gently. Ever so gently. Gently. Um, the only problem was, is I, I mentioned that it was my uh, summer back from my first year of college. I did not know where the police speed trap was that week. Mm. Oh. And it happened to be on that road by that corner. And apparently his radar gun got me doing 90 miles per hour. Which obviously... For mere seconds. I think that's seconds. really important. Baseless accusations. Clearly, Pooh is an upstanding citizen who would never do that. It must have been malfunctioning. Obviously. Um, so he gun. then, I think he did really fast because he had to merge with that traffic to get behind me. Uh, but I, I'm not bringing he that must up have because going, he was obviously following the law. He was going at least 100 to catch up to you, though. No, no, I was doing 35 at the time. No, no, yeah. just like, and no, then no, you no, shot was, ahead and then he had to... He, he just merged right in, turned on his lights, pulled over. Ever so gently. I rolled down the window, the officer came up, and he asked you the classic question. Why did I pull you over? You could smell the donuts. No. <laughs> and I said, well, it's because I just opened this package of powdered raspberry filled donuts, oh, and you I wanted one. It. I called it. How did he take that? He did not find the humor in that statement <laughs> at all. Um, and all of a sudden he starts saying, license and registration, please. I chuckled and got out my license and got out the registration and <laughs> handed it to him. He went back to the car and he then noticed that it was registered to Don Poos or Officer Don Poos. He's like, oh. So he comes back and gives me a verbal warning <laughs> for doing 90 and a 35. I thank him, take my license, I put it back, my proof of insurance, and ah, oh, good times. Then you hit 90 again. No, 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 the, the, <laughs> see, I'm old. I, I don't know if you knew that. Um, and there were not I cell never guessed. There were not cell phones at that time. Oh. However, uh, police cars have these things called radios. Mm. Oh. And um, the officer had um, radioed the police station to have the police station call my house and let him know what I had said when I rolled down the window. Oh, no. Um, well, I mean, I'm getting home. It's 1.30, let's say, at night. And for some reason, all the lights are on at home, which I thought was weird. Hmm. I, I assume usually, usually at 1.30. 1.30 everyone's sleeping, yeah. 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 And I pull up, and before I even get to the door, it slams open, and I hear, hear my dad's loving voice saying, What the bleep did you say? I can't, and then I can't tell the rest of that story. It, but there, there were lots of bleeps. Ah. Lots and lots of bleeps. There was a lot of anger. And I didn't get to borrow the truck uh, for a while after that. I had to drive my own car, um, which, you know, wasn't as cool. Or work. Damon, <laughs> uh, were you saying something? Uh, no. I was just, just going to say, I believe that uh, Timmy has a truck that works about the same as your car. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is, is that how he perished? I believe so. Oh. It's either that or the plague. Oh. Timmy is the plague. Anyways, moving on. So, Mr. Poos, I hear you have uh, some pretty strong opinions about Timmy time. Oh, yes. Yes. And since Timmy's not here... Oh. Alright, so... Timmy's the only one that would get offended. And Timmy, any of these. Timmy won't be watching this like 
the rest of the school. So. Oh, probably. Yeah. yeah okay. Probably. So we yeah. should be fine, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So, um, Tim Timmy doesn't seem to talk a lot. Oh, that's because he's a bot. Oh. The actor is doing a very good job right now of being Timmy. Oh, you're just, you're gonna green screen him in? Is that? No, we're gonna keep no. this guy. Well, he only says about three words. So, meat, dairy. Hashtag dairy lie. And we can't repeat the third word. Uh, oh, that's yeah. where the bleeps come in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I have watched every episode of Timmy Time, uh, the time it comes out. I believe it sets the bar for the production class. Extremely high. No, it sets the bar. Let's, let's just say it sets the bar. Well, it's not... It's not... Uh, uh, this possibly will be the worst episode because I'm in it. Oh, no, it'll be the best because Timmy's not in it. Yeah, we're, oh. getting, we're getting so much content here. Like, this is probably the most content-rich episode oh, we've had. Because I was afraid I was going to have to eat stuff, and I didn't want to eat any stuff. I mean, uh, we have cake. Well, I'm... I'm we can have you I'm, eat I'm, this plate. I am, I'm, I'm a diabetic, so you're trying to kill me. <laughs> that's, just, that's just rude. We can have you eat you the part of this. You invite me here as a guest, and you try to kill me with sugar? Does, I mean, that's the best way to get me, by the way. I'm, yeah. I'm more than willing to go that way, but... Um, but, yeah. No, uh... Tim, Timmy Time, I believe, is hitting its stride. Uh, I love the uh, 45 second episode. That one was really good because I was afraid I was going to miss Timmy Time. And then it was there, and that was good because it needs to be consistent. Because when you have a TV show that you like watching, and then they go on hiatus for like four weeks and you forget it's there, mm -hmm. I don't want to ever forget Timmy Time. Yeah, I actually designed that episode solely so we could push something out to keep consistency. See? Thank you. This is, this is why we have him as the editor and one of the main producers. And this will be my second appearance on Purple and Gold Productions. Oh, yes. yes. They, a, they have a beautiful trailer of you, don't they? Yes. Uh, I only hurt myself once in it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good record. Mm -hmm. You know, pain is temporary, but film is forever. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't see that I hit my uh, knee on the desk when I was jumping over it. Uh, it's hard to imagine, but um, I may not be as athletic as I look. It's very hard to imagine. I, I honestly can't believe that. It's false. As as one staff member constantly brings up, uh, fash on soccer varsity. That was, that was, oh, am I supposed to mention fash on soccer? Here, because they beat us last year in the playoffs. So it's probably on. a sore uh, subject for a couple. Should I? Now. Should I not? Should I not bring that up? Anyway, they, they did go on and win uh, state. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> should, I, should I bring? <clears throat> no, <clears throat> stop. Stop. Okay. <clears throat> so, anything else you'd like to say about me time? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have uh, destroyed everything about my dignity right now. So I, I think we're good. Okay. Um, What's well, dignity? Just, he has a good counterpoint, and I, I don't have an answer to that. Mm -hmm. I have no dignity. Let's just get one more thing. Damon, what is your favorite memory of Pooza's class? Uh, you know, it's hard to tell because I mess around a lot in that class. He does. But if you ever want to hear a good story, ask about his squirrel story. Ooh. It may not be appropriate Ooh. to be on the YouTube channel, Ooh. but it is... Are, are we allowed to talk about the brutal murder of a squirrel? Because I, I think that will click some content. You know uh, what? Let's let's I just... Think, that's why I passed on that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's but, play it safe. Viewers at home, feel free to go ask him on your own time, but we cannot air that, unfortunately. No. Uh, quite, I, 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 don't need pita, I don't need PETA upset at me. Isn't that a type of bread? Oh, wait. Did I, did I say it wrong? I don't know. I thought it was bread. Oh. Well, I don't want bread afraid? upset at me either. Okay. Carbs. Well, Poos, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, uh, stand-in Timmy. Thank you, Poos. Yeah. We're just going to call him Charles.